You cannot erase it. When somebody talks about it, the memories are revived. The Battle of Manila was among World War II's deadliest conflicts outside of Europe's borders. More than 100,000 civilians lost their lives from February 3rd to March 3rd, 1945. Back then, Jose Quilatan Sr. was a guerrilla fighting against the Japanese. He is now 105 years old. Those bad things they did to us, those things are hardest to bear. The sound of bombs, the people got used to it. It was like watching a movie. <laughs> On February 3rd, American troops marched into Manila. Their aim was to end Japan's three-year-long occupation of the Philippines. Oscar Buenconsejo fought alongside the US Army during the battle. He witnessed the toll fighting took on the city's residents. People are dying, just dying in the streets, starving. Even the snails in the sewers, we ate all of them. It's a shame. I wish I had a photo of how I looked. You'd see that I was a walking skeleton. Once defeat was in sight, Japan's troops set fire to huge swathes of Manila. And they committed atrocities against the civilian population, including mass murder and rape. They did bad things to our women. They're raping the civilian population. They really did. And in the final days, they were losing. And they were given the order. Kill every Filipino you see. That was the order, and that's what they did. On March 3rd, the battle ended with a victory for the American and Filipino forces. But the city, once known as the Pearl of the Orient, lay in ruins. The buildings were turned to rubble. At the base of the buildings, you could see the holes. You could see the foundations of the buildings. I don't know. I feel like shivering in fear. It was so beautiful. It was so beautiful. The loss of cultural and architectural heritage is today considered a national tragedy. Oscar received a medal for supporting US troops during the war, but he says he never got compensation the US initially promised. We will get the same pay as the Americans because we are fighting a common ground and you are under the Philippine government under the United States. Therefore, you are United States subjects. You will be paid the same thing after the war. And, and what happened and after the war? Their Congress cancelled it. The number of first-hand witnesses to the Battle of Manila is dwindling. Oscar hopes his experiences can offer a warning. Be vigilant. Be vigilant. If you see something bad, do something about it. Right there in the bud, cut the flower while it's not blooming, before it becomes a tree. At times, I hope people won't remember it, because it brings back bad memories. It should never happen again.